Shirin Van Anroy continues to stomp on the pedals. Lota Kopecky has fought so hard to get herself back into contention. She'll hold absolutely nothing back here. Little flick of the elbow, and Mariana Voss doesn't come through too quickly. And one wonders what exactly that little moment of difficulty. Didn't seem to get up the berg so well, did she, uh, Lotta Kopecky? But on a flat road, she still has so much power and strength. Kasia Niviadama, her big day out, of course, the Amstel Gold back in 2019. She's won so many big races, the uh, Ovo Energy Women's Tour in 2017. Tofeo Alfredo Binder in 2018. Won Ardesh back in 2018. Make a list, some big, big results. For all that, though, there is just a, a sense that she's lacking in a really big sprint, and therefore Ergo doesn't necessarily have an opportunity to produce the big results on a, a consistent basis. Goes up the climbs pretty well. Two kilometers to go for the chasers, uh, but it's all done, surely. 1,700 meters for your riders up front. 300 meters the gap between them. More like 400. And they're still working smoothly. Well, if I were Kasia Niviadama, I'd be tempted to sit on here and try and save something for some sort of a sprint. Unlikely she's going to be able to ambush them with two riders there available. Longo Borghini could afford to uh, use Van Anroy to chase down, or at least to whichever rider it was that happened to be on the wheel of uh, Kasia Niviadama. Van Anroy's going to lead this one out, you feel. Just over a kilometre remaining. Are we going to see any more of a trade on the front. And we're still going to give them a turn. Still not certain of what uh, that they have, what they need to take the win, but you know what? I think they do. Oh, and it's an attack from the back from Van Anroy, or is it? No, it's just rolling through to take a position on the front, and I think the uh, little Trek squad maybe need to issue an instruction here. Van Anroy is going to have to ride this one through to the line from here. And Kasia Niviadama, there's a meat in the sandwich. They're going to pile it on from behind. Demi Vollering emptying the tank to try and just uh, get on terms. If there's any bit of a hesitation from behind. Van Anroy feels like, uh, well, is she out of breakfast? Or is she just uh, playing a canny game or wants a slow sprint? Longo Borghini has time to get on the radio and issue an instruction. They could get back on here, you know. Surely that can't happen. The camera foreshortening the gap between them somewhat. Inside the final 500 metres. Hit 500 to go for the chasers. And this is a huge, huge effort coming in from Demi Vollering. And Van Anroy needs to ride this one to the line, but it's almost as if she wants to uh, ride herself. She starts the sprint. And Kasia Nivia Doma has the opportunity of benefiting from the slipstream, but it's uh, Lisa Longa Borghini coming from behind. Lisa Longa Borghini one side. And Kasia Nivia Doma, is she possibly going to beat them? No, it's going to be a relatively straightforward one as Lisa Longa Borghini takes over the line. A really impressive second place finish and probably the best that she could have hoped for. Lisa Longa Borghini, the red hot favourite going into that sprint. And the uh, sprint set up nicely by Shireen Van Anroy. They had more in hand, perhaps, than the camera was uh, telling us for a moment there. You started to think that maybe they were just going to be caught. But Kasia Niviadama, super strong in the climbs today, but she's never going to be able to get to Elisa Longa Borghini in a sprint. Just too much power. Time enough for Longa Borghini to get the arms in the air. 32-year-old delivers another women's world tour success
It's a second victory of the season for Elisa Longaborghini to go with that victory in the Trofeo Oro in Euro uh, women's bike race. First win at World Tour level.